Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can record a presentation inside of LibreOffice Impress, or pretty much follow along with the same steps for Microsoft PowerPoint as well, and to record it using a free tool called OBS. So assuming that you've downloaded and installed the necessary apps, you can find OBS with a quick DuckDuckGo or Google search. Uh, you're going to want to open up the program, of course, so I'm going to open up a second copy of OBS Studio right here. And we'll leave that aside for a second here. So before you start setting up your scene in OBS, I'm going to recommend that you actually start your presentation and that you have your slide format set up to whatever resolution you want to record at. So these days, most video actually uses a 16 by 9 resolution. So if you build your presentation and it's set to 4 to 3 screen ratio, you're probably going to want to go into the properties and change that to 16 by 9. So with that and assuming that you've actually gone ahead and created the slides for your presentation, you, you can go ahead and start your presentation. And I should add in here that the hotkey for that is actually F5, so a convenient way to start the presentation. Instead of going to the slideshow menu and hitting start from first slide, you can simply hit F5 on your keyboard. Now the reason that we do this is because we need to record the presentation as a separate window. Now the reason we would do this is so that we can record this presentation as its own separate window. It won't record anything else on the screen, only this pop-up window for the presentation. So now with that in the background, I can go find my copy of OBS in the background, open that up as a window here, and we're going to create a new scene for the presentation. So I'm going to right click here in scenes and go to add. And I'll call this slide presentation, hit enter. And we're going to need to add in this window as a source. So I'm going to right click, go to add, and choose window capture. So for this window capture, I might call this presentation. And from the window drop down, we're going to need to find the one that corresponds with the LibreOffice Impress or the Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. So in this case, the right window to select is this one that actually has the name null. And if I do that, you should see the presentation appear there in the background. So I can hit OK now. And now this presentation is going to be the sole video source that I am recording. Now, one other thing to make sure that is working with your computer is your microphone. So you can see here that it is clearly picking up on my voice as I talk. And that's what we should be seeing if we have our microphone plugged in. So if you don't see these bars, Click on the settings icon and go to properties and you're going to want to select your device from a list of input devices on your computer. So usually this will be something like a Realtek high definition audio device or in this case I have a USB headset that I'm using. You may also have a bigger microphone such as a Blue Yeti but in any case you'll need to have that plugged into your computer and it should show up in the list of devices after you've installed drivers and all of that. So I'm going to make sure this is set to my USB audio device, hit OK. And the important thing here is that we see the levels. Also, of course, make sure that it's not muted right here, because if you mute that, you won't get any levels either. So one last thing we can add in is a webcam or a video capture device. So I'm going to right click here, go to add and choose a video capture device. So from here, we can create a new source. Now, generally speaking, this is just going to be a webcam on your computer. If, if you see yourself show up in the video or whatever object you're trying to record in addition to your presentation, you should be good to go. Um, settings below, you can mess around with it a little bit. Uh, probably the most relevant will be the resolution. So make sure you're recording at the size that you want to. And then you can go ahead and hit OK. Now, if you do include a webcam, it may be way too big for the screen. So you can see the preview window right here. Um, whatever is in here is going to be stretched out to the full video size. So if your problem is that you have a giant webcam, I would recommend clicking on one of the corners and shrinking it down so that when you do give a talking head presentation, the video does show in one of the corners, but it doesn't block the text that you're trying to talk about. Also, as a quick tip, if you want to cut away some of the sides, you can hold alt down and click on any of the sides and drag it inwards so that you only basically record the part of the video that you want to. But if you want to record the whole thing, then uh, don't bother with that. Only if you want to crop away the edges. So now that you have all that set up, you should be able to basically go ahead and give your presentation. So hit the start recording button over here on the right. Click back into your presentation and you can start talking about it. So I could be like, oh, well, hey guys, Chris here. And I'm giving you a presentation on how to record a presentation with OBS. 
and then you can click go through your presentation as you normally would so here are the steps were basically you start the presentation so that you can add the window into obs instead of obs you create a new scene you add impress or powerpoint whichever window you need as a window source you make sure your microphone is connected you set that up as your audio input you add in a webcam if you desire by using video capture device as an extra source and then you hit the record button if you want you can set up recording hotkeys and then once you're done with all that you can edit your video as needed in davinci resolve so just to touch on the last couple things i did mention here if you do want to set up a recording hotkey so you don't need to manually hit the start recording button you can do that by going up to file settings hotkeys and then set one for start recording i typically like to use something like Control alt r and then i can also do Control alt r for stop recording so i can just use that as the hotkeys to start and to stop it hit ok and if i hit those keys on my keyboard Control r you can see that it stopped it starts recording right there and i can hit it again to stop recording so if this is your first time using obs and you just recorded the video then you're going to need to know where to find the video files you just recorded so if you go to file settings um, and you do the output tab over here you can see in the recording tab where you are saving your videos to so in my case it's d drive videos and recorded you can customize this to save to wherever you want and whatever recording format you want i like to use dot move for compatibility reasons and also because it allows you to have multiple audio tracks uh, but that's really getting beyond the scope of this tutorial so if i open up my video files folder i can open up the movie i created so by double clicking there we can see the unedited footage and note that the only thing it's capturing is the presentation window and the video capture window as well as the audio device which is what we wanted so that uh, you know nothing else gets in the background on our computer and we can use this raw video footage in order to create a final cut version of our presentation. The best free tool I found for doing that is called DaVinci Resolve, which is a really great video editor. Quite comparable to paid apps such as Adobe Premiere and what you can do with it. So if you have any interest in learning more about video editing and how to go ahead and do that with your raw recorded presentation, then I would go ahead and check out some of my videos on DaVinci Resolve. It's a good starting point. Aside from that, I hope you found this tutorial on how to record a presentation to be helpful for you guys. So iPhone Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.